because they don't have a potter's wheel. What you'll need is a measuring cup that holds one cup, a wooden spoon, a bowl, flour, salt, water, and I wrote down what, how much you'll need of it. So one cup of water, one cup of salt, two cups of flour, mix it all together, and you'll come out with this stuff. We already made it, and yeah. And it's really easy to make, but it might be a little sticky. So I'm going to tell you about the three different types of pots. A pinch pot, quail pot, and a slab pot. And now I'm going to talk you through which ones are which. This is a slab pot because it, you fl you cut a circle out, you just make like a little rectangle, cut the design you want on the top, wrap it around that circle, cook it, and paint it afterwards, and I made this one. This one's my brother's, and it's the same exact thing, but a different design. And this one is a pinch pot, and someone pinched it out, and then they painted it. And today we are gonna make, well, I am gonna make a coil pot. And all you do is get a long strip, like make a snake, and wrap it around to make a little vase or pot. So we made this little um, platform for the bottom of the, um, the vase or a pot or a bowl or anything and we just rolled it up like a snake and made a little snail shell and oh, it looks like a snail shell and we put a little dot of water on your hand wrap it up like pull it around as glue glue it on and it's okay if your string breaks or anything. It's, you can start all over again. And yeah. And you go up and up and up and up. It's hard. Might not be perfect. Gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna show you how to make a pinch pot. And so all you do is just get um, the dough, and it has to be pretty big. And you can have extra. Roll it into a little ball or a big ball. I don't want my too big, so I did a medium ball. You press with two or three fingers right down in the middle. It might not look like a pot, but this is a pinch pot. So you have to pinch around it. And yeah. And don't make it too thin or don't make it too thick. sculpture of mine. It's a girl sitting on the moon. And after we cooked it, we painted it. And we also put a little metal thing so we could hang it. And this took a long time to make. And the hair, I think you're wondering how we did that. We didn't just roll it out. We used a garlic, um, a garlic press. So that's how we made this. And we just scrunched it up. And my mom hasn't painted hers yet, but this is what she made. It's really cool. And all the flowers and the doors and the window. Hello, are you there? <laughs>
We are gonna um, use the clay to make beads for jewelry. And just roll it into a ball. Maybe bigger than my example. between your fingers, take a toothpick, and go right through it. Take it out, you have like a little hole. And now we're gonna teach you how to make charms. And I chose the heart. All you do is take this, roll it out. Make sure to get flour underneath it or else it's gonna like stick to the table or over your mm -hmm. it's gone. The shape you chose, and this is a cookie cutter. Just how you sculpt the cookie. Take a straw this time. I want to stretch it. <laughs> and dab it where you want it to hang. So mine's going to hang on its side. And just take that out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> But today we're gonna use an oven. And we set it to 200 degrees. We're gonna bake the bowls for about two to three hours. And I'm all my stuff that I made over here, my brother made over here is wet and feels like regular clay. We're gonna put those in the oven. They're gonna harden and dry out. And then we're gonna paint them. Now when you do pottery, you can paint three different ways. You can dip your pottery into paint. You can paint on glaze or you can sponge paint it. But since I made a little objects, we used watercolors and colored it. And it looks really cool. There's two different types of paint you can use, watercolor or acrylic. I chose these different types of colors. And what you'll need is paint, brushes, cup of water, your clay making, <laughs> or pottery, whatever you call it, and put it on the paper plate and let's get started painting. But before we get started painting, I just wanna say, paint whatever you want. There's no right or wrong. The most important thing is to have fun. So have fun painting.